Okay, so this is the analysis and simulink optimization of the layer side of differential equations, cannibals, by me, Madeline Nice, and Sarah Rankin. Okay. Uh, on a remote island in the Indian Ocean, there are two tribes of cannibals, Tribe X and Tribe Y. We simulate a situation that deals with the tribes being competing species, which means that the factors of each tribe are influenced by the other. Thus, the two tribes depend on each other. This creates a couple set of differential equations that depend on one another and can be modeled as such. Each tribe grows according to their own respective rate that results in overcrowding. The increase in population also means that the opposing tribe has an increased food supply. This factor is considered and is denoted by the cooperation parameter. Both tribes are susceptible to overcrowding in their own areas, but do not encroach upon the territory of the other so as to not affect each other's factors. The loss of one tribe's members correlates to the food supply of the other. Therefore, the cooperation and harvesting parameters are linked to the same encounters between the two tribes. The populations of each tribe are represented by variables X and Y. Uh, we surmise that the initial populations of the tribe have no effect on how long their respective lineages last. If either tribe were to forfeit their cannibalistic ways in favor of a more socially acceptable lifestyle, they would lose to the other tribe. Okay, so these are our equations. dx dt represents tribe x and dy dt represents tribe y. Uh, note that our initial conditions are in the thousands, so each tribe has 5,000 members. Uh, the variables a and e represent the, gr the growth rate. Variables b and f represent the overcrowding factor. Variables c and g represent the cooperation parameter, which is the increase in food stocks each time the two tribes interact. And the variables D and H represent the harvesting parameter, which is the decrease in people each time the two tribes interact. Okay, so this block diagram is based on the equations from the previous slide. Uh, note that we used an XY graph instead of a scope because the equations are dependent on time as well as each other. Um, so we wanted to model how the graphs would look where you can see the populations of both tribes at the same time. Okay, these are the first two graphs. The first figure shows that the bulk populations start here at 5,000 and they converge to around 3,300. And the second graph shows that they start at around 100 and converge again to about 3,300. These are two more graphs with the same exact equations, just different initial conditions. Again, we see the same trend where they start at one place and converge to that 3300. And same over here, no matter where they start, they converge to this 3300. As mentioned before, no matter what we change the initial population to, both tribes reach an equilibrium of about 3300 members. This is where they can coexist in a balanced environment. Okay, so in this scenario, we suppose that tribe Y stops eating people. Thus, there is no more harvesting term in the first equation because no more people in tribe X are being eaten. There's no more cooperation term as well in the second equation for tribe Y because they get their food from other sources. Uh, the growth and overcrowding terms are unaffected by this. These are the graphs that correlate to the changed parameters. For tribe X, the harvesting term is removed, so the coefficient in front of the XY term goes from negative to positive. And for tribe Y, there is no more cooperation term, so the coefficient in front of the XY goes from a negative value to a greater negative value. Um, in figure 5, we see that tribe Y steadily decreases while tribe X decreases and then increases again down here. And then in figure six, we see that tribe Y increases a little bit and ultimately decreases at the end. And then tribe X just increases the entire time. Eventually tribe Y goes extinct while tribe X flourishes. Continuing from the last slide, figure seven and eight follow the same trend where tribe Y dies off and tribe X thrives. The only difference is these graphs have a different initial 
um, population value than figures five and six. The difference between this scenario and the previous one is that this time the populations of tribe X and Y equilibrate at an unequal number of members. Tribe Y is not able to maintain any serious growth. Since tribe Y is no longer a threat to tribe X and just serves as a food source, we see tribe X prosper. This is our reference, and thank you for watching.